You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. Hey, 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 everybody. Today, I'm going to share with you the seven engaging things you can do to send to your list. Sounds exciting, right? Because if you have a list, you want them to engage, you want to send them stuff, and you just don't know how. Now, if you don't have a list, you need to get a list because that is the heart and soul of your business. If all of the social media platforms were to shut down today, do you have people that you can connect with? If you don't have a list, the answer is probably no. So you want to build your list, and if you need help doing that, you can hop on into our Social Marketing Academy and check out the course called List Building Brilliance, where I teach you all of that, how to do it step-by-step, plus all the strategies. But today, if you already have a list, this is for you. This is the seven engaging things that you can send to your list. And number one is free stuff. You want to be the Oprah of the emails. You get a freebie, and you get a freebie, and everybody gets a freebie. So... Give out free advice, a strategy session, an ebook, or some other piece of content that is super valuable to your prospects. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it will position you as an expert. It will build their trust and it will increase the likelihood of a conversion, which is essentially what you want because that's how you make money and that's how you have a business. Number two, behind the scenes. Let's be real here for a second. People love to know that they aren't alone in their mistakes or their struggles. So let your audience in on that. Let them see the real you and you'll have a reader for life. Show them what it is that you're doing, why it's working for you, why it didn't work for you. You know, I just took a three-week break from my business earlier this month because the kids were out of school and I had them nonstop for three weeks and there was no summer camp that I wanted to send them to because I would rather have that quality time with them and that's the beauty of owning my own business. So the whole three weeks, I didn't have podcasts running. I had sporadic emails here and there. I wasn't keeping up with the routine that I do, two emails a week, two podcasts a week. During that time, I didn't want to stress myself out with business and family. I wanted to be 100% family. So I think I was, let's say, 95% family and 5% work. The clients were still served and all of that, but everything that I put out during those three weeks was about spending quality time with my kids. I offered some valuable content for my followers and my subscribers, but I was real. And I said, look, there's too much on my plate right now, and I'm focusing on my kids. We are doing what we call Camp Melissa. Uh, We do Camp Melissa every single year since my kids, my oldest was two years old, where it's just a camp of me and my kids. We make camp t-shirts. We do fun activities around town. We have two activities every single day. We invite our friends to join us, and it's a blast. And I wanted to be fully engaged in that. So I showed my audience my behind the scenes, pictures of the activities we were doing, stress that I was experiencing from not being at my desk, um, running my team from a quick little cell phone message here and there so the team could serve the client. So the business still worked and still ran, but I was showing the behind the scenes of what my staycation, my Camp Melissa, looked like. So that's a good example. Number three are exclusives. So this is my favorite thing to receive in my inbox because it makes me feel like I'm part of a super secret club. And who doesn't want to be a part of a super secret club? (laughs) So try to include a never before seen blog post or video in your email and you'll see those click rates go through the roof. Trust me on that one. Um, Number four, invitations. Starting a new Facebook group or a mastermind event, well, Thank your subscribers by giving them first access to your stuff. That really does go a long way. I've joined hundreds of Facebook groups and many, many masterminds, and I've listened to thousands of webinars, and I've been in so many courses, and I've had lots of business mentors. But when I get a personal invitation, it makes me feel good inside. That's just human nature. So if I get access to something before everyone else, I feel like I'm amazing. I'm the bomb. They're inviting me to this first access. So think about that when you are thinking about how to engage your subscribers and your email list. Make them feel special. 
Number five, news. Your emails should always be valuable. If you can tell your readers some useful business information and also keep them up to date on the latest industry news, they will thank you for the time that you saved them. Because for example, Facebook algorithms change all the time. Inside my Magnetic Marketing Mastermind group, I will share if there is a change. People who are in the group will get that information before anybody else. So they'll feel feel grateful for that. So think about what information that you can share, what news, industry news that you can share with your subscribers so that they feel like you've saved them time. Number six is a link roundup. So if you're super active on social media, a recap is perfect weekly email for your subscribers. Recap what you talked about, images that you shared, and you can even link them to any live videos that you've done. That's a huge time saver. So instead of someone having to follow you every single day on every single platform and trying to absorb and consume all of your stuff, instead give them a little recap, a link roundup and say, hey, this is what you missed this week. Boom, 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 all here in one place. Think of it as like a cheat sheet for your business. Um, Like you're in school and they're giving you a cheat sheet for what's on the test and they give you all the links to everything right there. That's what this is for your customers and your prospects. And number seven is your promos. Now, this one is tricky because everyone hates sales pitches. Believe me, even the multi-millionaires. But your promotion must be worthwhile for your prospects. You need to include a discount option for email subscribers or some other perk to make the promotion more digestible and less icky feeling. When we say sales, immediately I I lose half the population. They're like, oh, sales, that's icky. No, 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 no. Well, you can make sales because you are providing a service or product that solves someone's problem. People like to buy things when they know it's going to solve their problem, but you can do it without feeling icky, without being icky, just by building relationships and offering that solution to their problem. So there's ways to do these promos that doesn't sound sales pitchy and icky. So I want you to think about that. I hope this helps. This is your seven engaging things you can send to your list and I will see you next time. If you loved this episode, head over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review so we can reach more people and share our content with those that can benefit most. And before you go, I want to invite you to join my Social Marketing Academy, where you can master the skills you need to manage and scale your own business or your clients' businesses. This membership will give you all the tools you need to be successful online and teach you how to engage properly with your ideal audience. New courses are constantly being added to the Academy, and you can work Work through them at your own pace. Check it out now at socialmarketingacademy.org. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com.